Welcome back to the Outer Worlds. I took the liberty of fast traveling over here. And we are heading uh, to the printing press. Hopefully we can find the noise and... I uh, guess we need to repair that printing press thing as well. Interesting little... arch that we can walk through. Okay, so uh, this is where the road... Hello? Blind. And stagger. Oh. You got it, Captain. One of those. Would you stop that? We were destined to prevail. Plasma damage is interesting. It turns them into a pile of ash. thing we came along and decided to help. <laughs> oh, the bad noise. Hope you're here to help. We only got so many bullets left and I ain't keen on using one on you. Zora sent me to look for, uh, I'm guessing it's supposed to say you guys. Once I get you out safe, I'll say about that press. Thank the Eternal. We could use a hand. But we can't leave without patching these guys up. Acker here is bleeding out and Jensen can't see straight. Our medic has got our trauma kit, but we got separated. We ain't seen him in a couple of hours. Got it. I'll see if I can find him. Rather ugly, aren't they? Okay, so let's get the medic first and foremost. Yeah, you just try to hide in here. Okay. 
Level 20. Now that's nice. Here's the medic. Lots of ammunition. That's uh, beneficial. You might have noticed that I'm no longer bothering picking up the raptidon meat because it just takes a lot of space. Any luck out there? I found your trauma kit. Your medic is dead. Oh, fuck. Well, that's better than nothing. Thanks. We'll head out as soon as we're patched up. <laughs> Excellent. So they have been retrieved. Now we can uh, level up. the challenge. Let's get up the leadership and get the crit and armor rating. Okay, uh, yeah. this probably is useful. 50% chance. I'll take that one. This is Pavati, she does melee damage. Apparently, let's give her more health. And the good vicar. Let's give him more as well. Terra 1 publications. Crouching is useful. Yeah, I've noticed. That one down. I'll take your confession now. <laughs> I'm not really sure a raptor can confess to anything, but Field aggregator. What 
on Earth is a chrono field aggregator. Further comment on that. I don't even know where the chrono field generator went off to. It's where to be found. Okay, oh well. Bring along. Final notice, Shuster C. To whom it may concern, I, Caden Shuster, do hereby declare my official resignation. Delivery services to the Terra 1 printing facility OD2214 shall cease forthwith. During my tenure of service, I have made numerous com known numerous complaints regarding the hazards of working on this law-forsaken rock, including, but not limited to, 1. The infestation of unknown insects in my sinus cavities, resulting in weeks of unpaid leave. 2. The as yet unreimbursed loss of several articles of clothing due to the acidic properties of the local atmosphere. 3. The constant unrelenting aggression for local wildlife. 4. A persistent itching and coughing malady in my lungs, likely due to breathing in trace amounts of sulfur. 5. Equally persistent indigestion, a symptom of an overall nutritional prob problem stemming from the fact that I am in fact allergic to fish, which is the main diet provided to the service workers based in Stellar Bay. I have received the following responses to these complaints, all of which I deem unacceptable. 1. At my resulting loss of olfactory senses, I was deemed, quote, lucky to no longer suffer the stench of fish and sulfur. 2. My wardrobe was replaced with uniforms out of Stellar Bay, which suffered the exact same degradation, and I was thus no better off. 3. At my insistence, I was awarded the services of a local hunter, one N. Ramnarim Wentworth, who spent the entire service call inebriated and offending my sensibilities with off-color language. Hmm... I wonder who could, that could have been. 4. After a thorough medical examination, I was found to be in working health, which was deemed more fortunate than many. 5. At my insistence that additional dietary needs be offered, I was instead awarded extra supplies of toilet paper. After this latest response, I hereby tell whoever is reading this to go hang themselves, and that your replacement rollers, ink cards, belting, bindings, keys, stamps, lubricants, and whatever else is in this infernal boxes can all be found rotting in the wilderness. Good day to you. Sincerely, Caden Shuster. I can't say I blame that poor f person, whether it was a he or a she. Another terminal. So this is shipment status, UDL masks. Uh, to whom it may concern, I was talking to one of our guards and he isn't having trouble breathing at all. In fact, none of our guards have had asthma attacks from the air here. 
We believe it is because of their gas masks. I have attached a purchase request for safety equipment for the rest of us. Sincerely, Darlene Bolshov. Shipment status of factory filters. Miss Bolshov, focus testing indicates that the air quality on Terra 1 does not warrant the use of olfactory filters or any other scent blocking equipment. Your purchase request for something to deal with the stink of sulfur is denied. Ah, so she sent off a message about that. And then replacement rollers. To whom it may concern, the rollers in our facility, in our printing press facility are degraded and will break soon. I've attached a purchase order for new ones. Sincerely, Darlene Bolshov. Miss Bolshov, our records indicate that your facility is not due for replacement parts for another five months. We will send new parts, including rollers, when that time come. She responds, they aren't lasting is long enough because of the sulfur in this fucking air. We need new parts before the ones we've got break. Miss Bolshov, according to the manufacturer, your current rollers are capable of retaining efficiency in all environments. We have no evidence to support your claim that the rollers are degrading because of this beep air. Always the helpful people. I must confess to a certain curiosity as to how anything actually worked on these facilities and act given the horrible state everything is in we be? I saw a comment today that uh, amused me in one of the videos. Uh, the commenter said, I love how RPG games turn us all into kleptomaniacs. If that's not the truth, I don't know what is. food. And uh, this door leads to what? The bath. Of course. Terry's birthday. No, we are not celebrating Terry's birthday. Terry's dead, folks. I know he meant a lot to everyone here, myself included, but let his untimely demise be a lesson about safety in the workplace. Don't pet the canids. We're leaving. To all employees of Terra One Publications. Yes, the rumors are true. We are leaving. The board has decided to cut their losses and operate on Terra Two instead. In accordance with the evacuation orders, we are to await a shuttle out of Cascadia, and when we get word that our ride is on the way, we'll shutter this facility, pack everything up, and lock the door on the way out. Until then, however, we are expected to continue working. 
I'm sure reassignments are forthcoming, but that's not an excuse to slow down. We still have magazines to publish, people. Our customers are eager to find out what happens in Dissident Hunter 112. Mm. Halcyon Referendum 207, Terra 1 Hazard Clause. Um, public Notice 117, not 107. On the issuing of a hazard clause for Terra 1. This notice, issued on January 12th, 2343, serves as the public denouncement of Terra 1 as a feasible workplace environment. Due to the hostile and aggressive nature of the wildlife, as well as the unsustainability of its natural flora for use in human consumption, the Halcyon Holdings Corporate Board has officially enacted a ha hazard clause covering the entirety of Terra 1. After an evacuation period of no more than six months, Terra 1 will be officially considered illegal territory. As this is a unanimous decision, any corporation caught operating on Terra 1 after the evacuation period will face fines and poss possible disbarment as defined in Halcyon Code 22.1. It's a final room here. Install... Uh, run diagnostics. 40 rollers, yes. Install rollers. There we go. Should make them happy, I guess. Um, guessing it's time to go back to the uh, iconoclasts then. Yep, let's fast travel back to Amber Heights. And then we need to go up into the building to talk to the people. If you'll just listen... No, no more listening, no more preaching. We are losing people left and right. We need to act. Enough, Zora. I'm not putting the torch to innocent people. Do you want to bring the board's cruisers and gunships down on us? Captain, apologies, but our situation grows dire. Our people talk of foolish endeavors. What news do you bring? The printing press is all yours, but first of all, what are you arguing about? We're out of time. We need food and ammunition. We need to hit Stellar Bay while we still have the manpower to do it. Uh, that seems desperate. It is. We are desperate. We're starving. My people are dying left and right. And are they really doing better than you are? Doubtful. But we don't need much. And Sanjar isn't going to share. Yeah, I see. Listen, I've been to the printing press. It's clear. Excellent. Did you find the Vanoise? Yes, the Van Noys are on their way back. Thank the Eternal. We're one step closer to bringing the truth to every man, woman, and child in Halcyon. This plan's brilliance is in its subtlety. For the time being, let us cease our activities on the Tower, lest we bring premature attention upon us. I have much to do. Articles to write, sermons to ponder. We live in such an exciting time. Let's talk later. Hey, I need to see to the wounded. But drop by the clinic when you can. I want a word. I'm not going to help you attack the city. Ain't happening. Iconoclast Apostle Armor. That sounds interesting. Hmm. Looks very nice. Ooh. 
looks cool too. Stick to my sneak armor though. I think these guys have better armor than that. Yes, they do. However, I do want to run down here and get stuck, of course, and then talk to this guy. Hey, thanks again for helping you. I think we can buy everything. Reconoplast assault rifle. Four hundred and sixty-two. It isn't really that good. Okay, let's go talk to her in the clinic then. Hey. Hey, Captain. I need your help, and we ought to keep it hush hush. You know about what happened here, right? The history of Amber Heights? Fella came through Edgewater once, mentioned something to my dad about pirates wiping out a town. You mean this is the same place? Right. Common belief is that the pirates fled to an old relay station that had already been abandoned, but nobody could find them. The station's locked up, but one of my people found an old data cartridge in a nearby wrap nest. It's mostly corrupted, but I pulled a couple codes off of it. One is the code to the Amber Heights gate. I don't recognize the other, but it's similar. I bet it opens a door. A random door doesn't sound useful. I know it's a long shot, but if we miss something there, if you can get into that station, maybe we can get some answers. Why are we keeping this to ourselves? Graham isn't fond of talking about the history here. He had friends who worked here. The massacre hit him pretty hard. You know him. Live and let live and all that. I don't want to burden him right now. Especially if this ends up being a dead end. Okay, go to the relay station, see if the code's useful. Anything else? Just a warning. The area is infested with mantisaurs. I'd send some help, but we're, you know, preparing for war. Right, I'm on it. Appreciate it. Here's the code. If it works, bring back anything you find. Supplies are best, but information's good too. If someone was behind the Amber Heights massacre, they'd give a lot of people around here some closure to find out who and string them up. Good luck. Watch out for the tarot. How is our inventory? Oh, it's rather good, actually. And we can break down a few of these items. Repair all equipped. Same with armor. Go. So where is this relay station then? It's all the way down there. Okay. Let's head down there then. Our reputation with the iconoclasts are almost 84%, so we set 100. Taking this path, Mantis Worm. Oh, 
hi there. Just wonderful. Someone's destroyed the damned bridge. Well, that's not too useful. Or rather, it is quite inconvenient. The strong survive and the weak perish. You got it, Captain. Well done. We are victorious. Um, <clears throat> that down there looks like a gate. Yes. Well, so I did something here. Hacking skill is too low. 74 out of 100. Ouch. So, some marauders decided to sneak in here and uh, apparently kill the scientists. I don't think I'm supposed to be doing this right now. But, uh, why the heck not? I'm not 
looking for a key card. Use terminal. Research data. Project Lorem Ipsum. <laughs> Uh -huh. shall result in a potent, mostly non-lethal crowd control gas for use against rioting, agitated or excessively numerous crowds. Rich sulfur pockets make Monarch a prime site for testing exper and experimentation. Early results show promise, but further research is necessary. UDL disavows all knowledge and responsibility for Lorem Ipsum, and all data in this report is considered proprietary knowledge of UDL. Transfer file to external tape. Right. So she probably would have sent us here then. Messages from Ann Sanders, Miss Valdez, just reporting in to let you know that the lab's all set up. We found a good sulfur pocket to drill into, so the data's coming in, but this place smells awful. The only local we've had to make contact with is the sublight boss in Fallbrook. She doesn't ask questions, but I'm pretty sure she's gouging us, and we're all getting sick of expired sister bits. Uh, Sanders, it's supposed to smell awful, that's the point, and I don't care what sublight is charging as long as it keeps your presence there quiet. If word get out, we're going to spend the rest of our lives in corporate re-education seminars. I don't want to hear from you again until you have a working formula. Once we've got that, you and the rest of the lab rats can come to Byzantium and live on cacao ribs for all I care. And come up with a better name for the project, something flashy and catchy but not but that the rest of management will take seriously. Maybe Waterloo or Dangerburn. I'm sick of my boss asking me why I'm forgetting to fill out parts of my reports. Uh, alternate project titles. Hack. If Valdez wants a better title, see how she likes these, JP. She's going to be furious if she ever finds this list that I'm not covering for you. Make sure these are good and hidden. NS. Thunderdog. Dog, Eggs Mayhem, Skunk Parade, Fuck you Valdez, I want my race, uh-huh. Right. Bathroom. Still haven't found a keycard though. either implies that there isn't one or maybe I will be sent there we are okay, I, I'm not sure if I like that ability that I'm able to see what's in the uh... uh-huh it looks like it says check disk Oh, it's pinging with data. Oh, this is brilliant. <laughs> Lovely. Um, I lost my train of thought there. Actually quite rare for you to see these terminals have anything legible for us humans, but... Uh, Legible for us humans, that's a funny way of putting it. Legible for uh, us in terms of what we're used to, but actually having a command prompt being the... Uh... <laughs> Basis is quite funny. This terminal is blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. A hundred thousand bits, wow. Research data, research log... Okay, so after successful trials... Management has decided to put Project Not a Toy on hold. UDL will instead pursue projects with a wider area of effect for more practical large-scale crowd control. Note, before anyone asks, this does not mean I'm unlocking the gun. It's still off limits. NS. Log 14. Early results are promising. We've managed to increase the surface tension of the gloop to create a controlled and predictable spread of the substance. Management wants a catchier name, though. Note, I told Powell we're not ca calling the project Sticky Bits, but he refuses to refer to it as anything else. It doesn't even make sense. The gloop particles are nearly frictionless. Log 57. 
Powell and Chastity have started to show interest in the project, which should be good, but their trials seem to involve covering various hard-to-reach surfaces in Gloop and launching expensive equipment at them. I'm going to have to have a talk with them. Log 58. Someone filled my underwear drawer with Gloop. I have theories. And log 143. Chastity used the gloop gun in our office paintball game yesterday. She said it was a mistake, but this is the third time she's made the same mistake, and she managed to cover the door panel with the stuff. Damn thing's been going haywire ever since. Do you know how hard it is to clean gloop? Chastity doesn't, because every time I pull out the latex and solvent, she remembers she's got actual work to do. From now on, I'm locking the damn gun up. Unlock gloop gun containment unit. Let's just hack that. Oh, we need a password. You are attending a company meeting at HHC headquarters in Byzantium and vile dissidents attack the building. What is your priority? Protect the chairman. Question 2. You are perusing one of our many UDL personal security mega outlets and enjoying our fine selection of employee compliance equipment. When you are approached by a stranger, he makes an offhanded comment that could be construed as an indirect insult to Chairman Rockwell. What do you do? Of course, berate him relentlessly to defend the Chairman's honor. Question 3. You and your spouse have a healthy, loving relationship, but one day you discover that they have been reading unsanctioned stories to your children. What do you do? Uh, of course, you arrest your spouse and admit your children to a re-education program. Use of prototype crowd suppression weapon GL009 has been authorized. Reminder, indoor use of this weapon will result in any cleaning fees being deducted from your paycheck. Have a pleasant day. Who needs hack skill when you can answer these easy PC questions? So what is this gloop gun? Need to test it. Interesting. Looks fun too. Okay, so this clearly doesn't help us anything. Although we did finish up a quest. But, uh... I think that we need to end the episode and continue in the next one, so uh, thank you all so very much for joining me, and I will see you all next time.